are you using the right cookie plugin for your website to help with GDPR? Well, in this video, this is what we're going to be looking at. Hi, my name is Jason Kruger and I help heart-centered businesses build and automate their online marketing systems. Now, there are so many different cookie plugins that you can install on your website, especially if you're using WordPress. Now, a lot of them do do the right things, but many of them don't. And what I've seen is a lot of websites using these plugins um, that don't actually comply. Now, what do I mean by that? Um, well, when you have a, a cookie banner come up, when if someone says that they don't want uh, the cookies to be used, then they shouldn't be used. Now, what a lot of these plugins are doing is they just have the banner to say that you're using cookies and all that they get is an OK button or they can click on to view your cookie policy. Now, this is not strictly correct and um, you need to get, be able to give them the option to switch them on or switch them off. Now, the one plugin that I'm going to be looking at today and is one that I'm now currently using on my website is by a company called WowQ. Now, this plugin has actually been developed in conjunction with Suzanne Dibble, who is a data protection uh, solicitor. Uh, she's been championing GDPR now since before it became implemented, and she's actually even written the book on it. The book that she wrote is actually the GDPR for dummies. And if you um, haven't got this book, I highly recommend that you get it as it will help to explain uh, everything you need to know about GDPR and how to implement it in your business. Now, I'm no expert, um, but I do know that this plugin has been developed in conjunction with her to help with the privacy policies, etc. So let me show you uh, the, what this plugin is. So this is their website. And what it actually is, is it, it helps with the, the cookies and the, the banners, etc. But they've added more functionality in there so that you have questionnaires uh, in there as well. So you can actually create GDPR compliant questionnaires on your website. Uh, which has now become all the rage. Loads of people are doing quizzes, etc., and you can use the software to do that as well. So, as you can see, uh, it gives you loads of different options. It is a WordPress plugin, so you do need to be aware of that. It won't work on a, a Squarespace or Wix sites, for um, example. Um, and it does integrate with WooCommerce uh, and CRMs. Uh, I think the, the four that they uh, integrate with at the moment is Infusionsoft, Active Campaign, MailChimp, and Aweber. Now, this is a, a great feature uh, with respect to GDPR because you need to be able to give people the ability to get the information that you hold uh, hold on them. And a lot of the time, the subject um, information requests on, can be done via email or sending in a form to you, and then you've got to send it to them. This plugin actually integrates with your CRM. They can put in their, their details. They will then be sent uh, a code with a link to a specific, specific page on your website where they can enter that, that code and it will pull the information that you hold on them on your CRM. Now it won't pull everything, but it will have the majority of the, your contact information. So you can check if it's correct. You can update it from there if you wanted to. Um, but you can also then make sure that you're removed from the, the database as well. Uh, and it also integrates with different payment uh, gateways and that as, as well. So as we scroll down, uh, you can see uh, you can actually download this from the WordPress uh, repository uh, and that will give you a seven day trial. The other thing um, with this is that it will help you create a privacy policy for your website that is GDPR compliant. And as long as you uh, 
buy the 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 plugin and it's a it's a, a monthly fee of around uh, 25 pound per month it does sound expensive but you do get a lot um, for that uh, but as long as you are uh, a subscriber to that uh, plugin uh, if anything changes with regards to the privacy policy and there needs to be updates you will get those updates as well so you know that your privacy policy will always be up to date now when you set this plugin up uh, it will ask you to answer um, some questions and it's a kind of yes and no, yes and no for the majority of it and then once you've answered those questions it generates the privacy policy for you the other thing it does with the uh, cookie uh, consent is it will first ask if the people visiting your website are from Europe or outside of Europe and there's two different ways that you can do it so that's a full screen when someone visits your site or it's just a small uh, bar at the bottom and as soon as someone says yes they then get the cookie um, policy and the, the cookie options where they can actually switch uh, on or switch off some of the the cookies on the site and by default all the cookies are actually switched off so they can then switch those on uh, and where this differs from some of those other plugins is it once set up correctly if someone says that they don't want those plugins on so they don't switch them on and they, they are off they are off so the uh, your Facebook uh, pixel for instance won't fire your Google Analytics won't work either uh, if they don't opt into those cookies so this is a true plugin where it will actually switch those um, cookies uh, on and off so as i say it will create those um the the, the policy the privacy policy for you uh, but also what it does is once you have it connected up to your crm at the bottom of the privacy policy you will have another button where someone can then put in their details to get um, the details out of the CRM um, themselves. Um, as, as you can see here, we'll email them the link with a code. Um, and then they just go to this page, put in their, uh, their code, and then they get this information uh, that is stored in your CRM. And as you can see, these are all the different uh, systems that they integrate with at the moment. Now, as I said, it is uh, 25 or 24.99 per month. Uh, it, you might think that is, yes, it is quite expensive, but what you do need to realize is that you do need to be compliant with this. If you are found out 25 pound per month is going to be a, a fraction of what it might actually cost you so I, I will would recommend getting this now and you can see they've got loads of different um, testimonials on here so when you actually sign up you do get your own dashboard so this is mine here and as you can see I've now got a GDPR form set up so that's now connected to my CRM and I have uh, it connected to my domain name now when you are subscribed if you have you know more than one site you can use this for all of those sites you don't have to have a subscription per site it's one subscription which will cover all your sites so that is a a great bonus as well and as i said you can go and create questionnaires so if i create one now And I say yes I want to create my first questionnaire I can go in here and create yes no um, answers uh, short answers long answers etc so you could use this as a bit of an onboarding tool as well as um, and, and also use it for lead generation and in these settings you can then integrate it with uh, your CRM as well so once someone has finished the the questionnaire it will then um, 
put that information into your CRM for you as well. And the other thing you can do is add your Facebook pixel to this so that if someone has gone through the, the, the quiz or the questionnaire, they can get uh, pixeled by Facebook as well. And within here, you can then also change the design of it. So it is very powerful. And then you can then also put in the, the email as well. So you can put in uh, their, their name, uh, et cetera, and the score that they've received so that you can actually send them um, some details as well. Now, before you get to set this up, what you will need to do, and it's something that they don't make 100% uh, clear on uh, their homepage, but you will need to sign up to a system called Mailgun to send out emails. Now, you might think, oh, it's something else I need to sign up. Mailgun do have a kind of a pay-as-you-go model, but for the first three months, you don't pay anything. And then it's a very minimal fee, um, and you just use it uh, you only pay for as much as, as you use it. So if you not have loads of people going through it, then you know, the cost will actually be very minimal. Now, to show you how this looks on your website, if I go to my website, as you can see, I've now gone to it and I'm now getting this option here at the, at the bottom. And it's asking me if I'm from the EU. Uh, if I say yes, It's now given me um, this message. So people can just say accept all cookies and then all the cookies will be turned on. Um, they've also got the link to my cookie policy. Now, if I go into the cookie settings, you can see at the moment they are all off. And if they sw switch them on, uh, then those scripts will run. So advertising, so for Facebook, analytics and customization, so your Google Analytics. So I can go there and just kind of say, okay, I'll just want those on and save changes. Now those are now switched on and that's perfect. As you can see, I've actually still got my old um, cookie uh, plugin on here and now I need to get that switched off. So let's go do that now and I can show you the back end um, of the website as well of where the um, wow Q plugin uh, settings are there as well. So I'm now into the, the back end of the, the website and you can see this is the settings. Now these settings are going to be unique to, uh, to you. Uh, so you just need to put those details in um, and you get that all in your uh, dashboard on the wow Q website. Then you have your privacy policy um, page that over here. And then the GDPR page. So this is the page that they will get sent a link to once they've asked for the information. So you just uh, choose that. This page is actually auto-generated once the plugin is installed. And then you can also have your questionnaires here. So at the moment, I don't have any set up, but you can just create them and then you just put them on the pages that you want. So this is just quite a quick overview of this plugin. And it is something that I recommend uh, that people look into, especially if you're using one of these other plugins where uh, it's only giving them the uh, the link to the policy and just saying, okay, thank you. So like this old plugin here that I have on my website at the moment still, uh, this is what a lot of sites are using and it's not strictly GDPR compliant. So if you do have one of these plugins, I do recommend that you look into this plugin um, because it does have all the, the necessary things you need and more with the, the questionnaire. Um, and if you are looking um, to, to get this plugin, if you just go to jasonkruger.com forward slash wowq, that's W-O-W-Q, um, it will take you to the website. Uh, yes, there is a small commission um, for me, um, but you know I, I do recommend this plugin. I am using it, um, and uh, 
if you need other details on how to install it, etc. Um, if you just contact me through the website as well, um, I can uh, look into how to help you to get this installed and set up for you. And if you do uh, like these videos, please um, consider subscribing uh, to the channel and hitting the notification bells so that you get notified of when I post new videos. So I hope to see you on the next video where I'll be going through other software and strategies.